Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Shall we talk about bike security? In particular, let's talk trackers. Stick around, stay tuned. I want to show you a new gadget that I'm going to install on my Speed Twin. All right, so bike trackers then, what do you feel about those? I'm a, I'm a big fan of knowing where your bike is and knowing if it's been stolen. Now on bikes like my Panigale that I bought brand new and was super expensive, I've had industrial grade uh, trackers installed at time of purchase. Uh, they're great, they work amazingly well, they're functionally very rich, but they are quite expensive. I think the one on the Panigale cost me about 400 pounds for the unit and then I had to have it installed. And then it's uh, over, a, I think it's 120 pounds a year for the subscription for that. So, uh, uh, but the good thing is, you know, if the bike gets stolen or something, you've got somebody on the end of the phone that's actually tracking liaising with the police all that so heavy duty industrial grade tracking on there absolutely fine but you don't necessarily want that on every single bike you've got if you did in my case i'm lucky enough to have five six bikes uh that's a lot of money every year isn't it is there a cheaper better option well, did you know what? I think there might be, and this could well be it. This is a new gadget that I've been sent. It's called a Sys app, and uh, basically what it is, it's an all-in-one tracker device that you install on your bike. Uh, it runs on the 4G network. You just connect it up to your battery, and the beauty of it is it's a one-off price. I think this is £225 uh, for the 4G two-wire option, which is what this is. Once you've installed it, you never have to pay anything else again. There's no subscription fees, anything like that. You don't have to worry about it running out of batteries. You don't have to carry a little key fob that it separates from. It just sits on the bike and it lets you know at all times where your bike is. There are other features on it as well. It lets you share your rides uh, and all that kind of thing. But really, I'm interested in the tracking functions on it. So uh, let's have a look at it. We'll get out of the box. We'll install it on the, uh, on the Speed Twin and then we'll go for a little ride and see how it works. Right, so technically then, this is what they call in uh, social media circles an unboxing. Let's see what it's like. Uh, and it's a bit of a lie to pretend that I haven't had it out of the box before. I have had it out of the box before. It was much neater in there. But this is just to show you what it looks like. So this is the device itself. Couldn't be much easier, could it? Look at that. Two wires to connect to your battery terminal. Uh, you then secrete it about the bike. Sticky pad, you can hide it where you like. And, uh, and that's all there is. So, um, yeah, let's stick it on the bike. We'll download the app. Maybe I'll have to read the instructions at some point, And then we'll see how it works. All right, so here's my trusty Speed Twin, the bike that we're going to uh, install the SIS app on. Uh, pretty simple bike, uh, batteries under the seat, as is often the case. What we need to do is find somewhere to secrete the SIS app, but we'll have a look. There's not an awful lot of uh, spare space around on the Triumph, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look around. It might be able to hide it under a cover somewhere. Anyway, let's get on with it. Start off by whipping the seat off, which is uh, straightforward, he says. Actually, it's going to be difficult one-handed. Hang on, let's put you down. It's better. Right. One seat off, there we go. And uh, in the case of the Speed Twin, uh, the battery easily located there. So we just connect those two wires from the SIS app onto there and uh, we'll be good to go. So the question is, is there room here to hide this under the seat somewhere? It might be that it can just sit there actually. It makes sense for it to be able to obviously see uh, the world above for GPS purposes. In fact, before I actually wire anything in, I think what I'll do is I'll just lay it in there and see if I can fit the seat on there still, just to make sure there is room there, because it's quite tight under there, as I say. It might be we have to find room under a side panel or something, but let's have a look. All right, so for now, we'll just shove the wires in there. Leave that there. It might be that we just sit it there. Hmm, is there gonna be room under the seat? Let's see. Looks like there will be. Excellent, that's good news then. So uh, I can sight it under the seat, which is a pretty good place to put it, I think. Just make sure I'm not gonna uh, impact anything there. We've got a couple of sockets there, but there's a little bit of space there. Yeah, that'll sit on there absolutely fine. All right, let's wire her in. All right, I'm not renowned for my mechanical prowess, but I think even I can manage this. Right then, let's whip these terminals or just loosen them off a bit. So we have the right size screwdriver. That was in there tight, goodness me. Man, those are done up tight. Mm. 
And there we go. That's it. I mean, that is what you call a simple installation, isn't it? I mean, I could stick it on there or tape it down or something, but I'm quite happy with it just sat underneath the seat there. So uh, if I can manage to install it, anybody can. Right, so before I put the seat back on, I thought I'd better just read the instructions. It comes with this little uh, quick start guide thing, and all it basically says is download the SIS app, app from the App Store or Play Market. I've already done that on my phone. And then it says connect the device to the app by writing down the IMEA 15 div uh, digits from the device, and it's providing you what the IMEA number. I know what IMEA stands for, but it's like a identification for a mobile device, I guess. I guess. So uh, let me do that on the app now and see if I can actually connect up to, uh, to the SIS app. Right, so I've downloaded the SysApp app onto my iPhone here. Let me uh, see if I can do a clever screen capture so you can see what I'm doing. So first off, you have to put your email in. So uh, let me do that. Forgive me for not showing you my actual email address. Right, now it says it's gonna send me a, uh, an email code to stick in uh, to verify it's me. So let me just go and check my emails for that. Oh, there we go, I've got a little uh, little code has come in. 313321. So back here, enter me code. And verify. Okay, bingo, right. I'm, uh, I'm in the app, this is brilliant. Alrighty, uh, so how do we check then that it's all working all right? I don't know. Uh, well, I haven't turned the bike or anything. Let me just check the uh, instructions again, what does it say? Uh, download the app, connect the device to the app by writing down the IMEI. Okay, so I've got to connect it to the app with the EMEI. So let's go into settings, perhaps. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, I've put the EMEI code in. It says ride around a bit outdoors to make sure everything's working correctly. So at the moment, it says that it's offline, uh, which is interesting. So why don't we go for a little ride and see, uh, see if it finds it. Oh, I was just about to put the seat back on the bike. I wiggled the SIS app and I got a little alert on the phone to say that unauthorised movement of the bike. So it's definitely working. Right, let's go for a ride anyway. So here we are on the trusty Speed Twin. It's fantastic to be on this bike again. Absolutely love riding this bike. On a beautiful day like today as well. Absolute corker. Anyway, we're here to test the uh, SIS app device out. So I'm just going to literally ride around the block and see what, uh, what the device tells us after doing that. White vans are out, or is it grey? And they're off. What I really like about this uh, SISAP tracker, over and above the others that I've tried similar things in the past, is that there are no batteries to worry about, so you don't have to worry about you know, replacing batteries in a key fob or anything like that. I love the fact that it's got no contract. You just pay that 200 quid up front and that's it for life. Obviously, I bought the 4G model. It does work worldwide where you've got a 4G signal, of course. So there are limitations, but uh, you know, hey, it's 200 quid with no contract. I love the fact that it's hidden away. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to touch it again. It just works sorts of features on it as well I haven't explored it fully yet and I do need to read the manual but uh, you can set geo fencing so it's in an area that uh, it doesn't send you alert so typically you set that up to be your house and uh, you know maybe a hundred meters around it something like that so that you don't get alerts when it's at home you can configure all sorts of uh, bits and pieces on it with regards to alerts it tells you what state your battery's in on your bike as well if that's getting low which is very useful and obviously shows you where your bike is at all times. I think it's incredible value for money. Oh, listen to the speed twin. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Right, let's go up to the... Uh, let's go up to the train station and see what the SIS app has recorded for us, shall we? Ah, trusty Great Missenden train station. What would I do without this place as a filming location? That'll do nicely.
Right, let's have a look and see what the phone has recorded then, shall we? Right, now I'm quite impressed with myself because I've only recently learnt how I can record what's going on on the screen on my phone. So I'll do a little recording here of what I'm looking at so you can see what I'm talking about. So uh, here we go. So here's the uh, the main screen of the SIS app. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, if we go into uh, the, the map, here we go. And you can see that it's got me. This is the bit I'm really interested in. There we go, look, Great Missenden train station, hopefully you can see that. And uh, we are parked in the car park, you can see the little, uh, the little arrow there, exactly where we are, how good is that? Uh, Alright, just to come back and have a look at some of the other stuff that's in here. We've got, you can see at the bottom of the screen there, look, maximum acceleration 15.1 feet per second per second, minus 4.6 uh, feet per second per second braking, 54.7 miles an hour, all sorts of stuff that you can have lots of fun with, so I'm going to have enjoy playing with this later. Um, here we've got, uh, look, it actually shows you addresses of places that I've stopped here, uh, which is incredible, which is when I stopped and turned the cameras on, so that's all cool. Uh, what else have we got? Alerts here, the various movements and things that, uh, that we've done. Uh, what else can I show you? We go back to, there's the map screen. I need to work out how to play with this properly, of course. Well, that's where we add our geo zones and stuff like that. I won't do that now. But, uh, yeah, cool. Loving all that. It seems to work really well. All right, let's get back to the garage and do a little summary. Eat your heart out, lamb chops. Right, so there we are, safely back after our first ride with the uh, SIS app installed on the bike. I hope you agree it was dead easy to install and pretty easy to use as well. Clearly, I only just scratched the surface there of the functionality on the uh, SIS app app. And I definitely need to read the manual and, uh, and uh, you know, get to, get to learn all that. But I'll do that over time. I'm obviously going to be uh, riding with that uh, on the bike um, for the, well, into the future. Because, as I said, there's nothing to do with it. Now, once it's installed, that's it. You can sort of fit and forget it, which I absolutely love about it. So, uh, yeah, full disclosure, Sizap did send me that unit uh, for free. So I didn't pay the 225 quid. But I think you'll agree, given the functionality that it's got and, um, you know, that you never have to pay subscriptions and stuff like that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good value. Now, I'll put a link below to Sizap if you fancy one. Uh, do go and uh, check those out and uh, yeah if you fancy something to keep simple truck for your bike or indeed car doesn't have to be a bike anything like that then uh, yeah get yourself a sizz up all right that's it for this time hope you enjoyed that look forward to speaking to you again soon until then this has been the best and fly cheerio